this video has been recommended to me so much that it's consuming my comment section. And I mean consuming. This is one of the most anticipated reactions here on my channel so far. So we're gonna get straight into it. Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Alicia X Life, aka Alicia X Death over here on this channel. And uh, I do reactions, I do video gaming, and uh, I do it all based off of the comment section. You could recommend me videos, you could recommend me games to play, all in the comments down below, but don't post links. Links are cringe. But today, today is something extra special. That's right, we're checking out the fall of 76, made by the one and only internet historian, who's one of the most talented YouTubers I've ever seen, besides watching like Maxer videos. The videos are engaging, fun, topical, and just a great ass time. Usually super long though, because I am a pausing Andy, I love to pause and talk about stuff, but we're gonna get straight into things, but hey, before we get started, you know what I'm going to say, just hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, but please double check that you hit the subscribe button because I do have two channels. So sometimes people don't realize that they're not subscribed to this one yet. Um, and leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm quads. Now let's get into the fall of 76. Let's get it. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, 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 oh. Bethesda, I have a friend who actually works at Bethesda. I haven't talked to him for a while, but oh. If you found this tape, it means that everyone is dead. All working. Oh, at I guess it ends the video because no one's watching. You're all dead. <laughs> What's up, ghosts? <laughs> oh, uh, heads up. I've never actually played a Fallout game before, so. Yep, that's a heads up. <laughs> a different office. How did this happen? Well, I'll tell you. Buckle oh? up, buckaroos. Buckaroos! Today's lesson is the misfired launch of Fallout 76. June 2018. Okay. It began with everyone getting just a little hyped up. Hi! Have we waited long enough, guys? Oh, God, yes, we have, Todd. I think we have. Fallout 76, Bethesda's biggest game yet. Hype is so scary. My god, it was exciting. And they promised we'd know more at E3. <laughs> E3 hype time. The press conference. 16 times the detail. 16 times the detail. Ooh. All new rendering, lighting, and landscape technology. Four times the map size. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. Wait, so where did they go wrong? And it's our biggest one yet. My god, it was exciting. But that November all seems 14. like reasonable to deal with, right? Like, yeah, like it's like you're increasing the quality of it, but we're all on new gen stuff by 2018. And on top of that, four times the map size. Like in, by 2018, we've already accomplished that many times over. Like, God, look at, like, GTA 5. That was, like, revolutionary for map size. And then we started playing the games of who's going to have a bigger map. And Assassin's Creed said, we're on fucking boats, bitch. Look how big our map is. And then it kept increasing and increasing and increasing, right? So, I don't know. It just feels like uh, that shouldn't have been an issue, Team right? 2018. The game goes live with a day one patch of 50 gigabytes. A day For one sake, patch of 50 I'll gigs? I'll see you tomorrow. But once that's downloaded, people start logging into the hellscape that is for Oh, it's multiplayer. And oh dear lord, they never fix the bugs. Um. And there are so many of them. Goodbye world, goodbye necks, goodbye body, <gasps> goodbye Holy hens, shit. bugs, bugs, bugs everywhere. Oh Server god. Crashes, game crashes, ah. old bugs imported from Fallout 4. <laughs> Use more than I'm so sorry, but like, does this not give you the exact same energy as his No Man's Sky video? Like these, what are these motherfuckers doing? At least... Uh, Maybe he'll have the halfway point again where we get to see the perspectives of the creators and maybe it turns around and becomes a good game. One at a time, I'm like hopeful. Dead. Text is far too texturous and all consuming <laughs> void. Aerolog 307. Can't pick up stuff, can't stop asserting dominance with a T pose. Frame oh. rate problems, screen tear problems, getting too swole, <sighs> getting underneath the map, getting attacked by invisible enemies, spawning too many enemies. It kind of speaks for itself. Spawning too many god rays. Also, your Holy camp resets shit. after every session, and sometimes it goes underwater. 
holotapes what? randomly play static, but too many holotapes mean none of them will play. Enemy AI is far more A than I. Animations are broken. Surprise. Floating objects and a traveling merchant. I feel like I'm just doing like the shot. The woman was too shocked to speak moment, bro. Like, how, how do you release that? Like, I, like it's Bethesda. Like, am I crazy? Like, that's not like it. Like, the other studio had an excuse. They made like, like small little indie games that did, mind you, they did well, but they're an independent studio. And then they made a mobile game after that that was still the same type of game, Joe Danger. And then they jumped into a massive, insane passion project. This is Bethesda. How the fuck? Just to name a few. Joseph Anson has a great video that documents just the ones that he found personally. That video oh, is three hours glitches. long. Three hours of glitches. Uh, but it gets worse. Oh, what, what was the 50 gigabyte update for? That's my question. What was the 50 gigs for? Okay, what was it like if you didn't have that patch? How shit would it have been? Oh but my god. Can corrupt your data and force you to reinstall the game and console operating system. A few PC players had their computers brick entirely. <gasps> also, when the date rolled over to the 1st of January 2019, um, the nukes in the game stopped working altogether. Oh. No one thought it prudent to program in other years in an always online game. And a few players were straight up logging into other people's accounts. What? This guy had a level 78 character that was randomly replaced with a level 8 character. Bethesda said they couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> Imagine grinding, playing through the glitches obsessively because you're so committed just to end up with a fucking level 8 character that's some dickwad's inventory, bro. I would lose it. I would lose it. <laughs> After grinding? No. No. Scavenging? XP? Oh, fuck no. No, 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 no. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. I haven't even played the game. I'm just getting mad. I'm, listen, I, uh, I'm an empath. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting but I am empathetic towards people, all right? And like, bro, if I, if I, ooh, ooh, I throw hands. I throw hands with God, bro. Put your fists up. Put your fists up. My gamer pride is on the line, bitch. <laughs> Player feedback. Oh, they must players have are not thrilled them. with this game. And they want Bethesda to know that. And they want everyone else to know that, too. But Bethesda owns the platform. Is Fallout 76 fun? Yes, it is. Banned for racism. Thread locked. They had no direct <laughs> outlet for their rage. The only solution was to put a torch to everything else. Reddit. Twitter. Oh, sp <laughs> speaking of Reddit, uh, we now have a subreddit. It's AliciaXLife. R slash AliciaXLife. Join the subreddit. Also, we have a Twitter. AliciaXLife VT, as in VTuber. Always be plugging. You think I'm not going to sell promo when I get the chance to? You dead wrong. <laughs> but for real though, go check those out. <laughs> Just as other games on Steam. The backlash was immense. But surely level heads would prevail. The reviewers would come out and say that the game isn't so bad. A dunk. Oh dear lord, they hate it. Oh shit, yeah. This is so sad. <laughs> Despacito, play Country Roads. <laughs> country Roads, take me home. To a place Almost I belong. Oh shit, never mind. West Virginia. Oh damn, they're playing in the song. Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah. So I just want to read a few of these like aloud for you guys. Uh, Fallout 76 review. Steer clear of this country road. Fallout 76 review. A bizarre, boring, broken mess. <laughs> Sounds like your sex life. <laughs> I just felt someone get offended at their second monitor. They're just like, what the fuck, bitch? <laughs> like, what'd you just say to me? <laughs> That's what you get for putting me on your second monitor. <laughs> okay. And the YouTube community had this to say. Oh, it's that's really us, that's us. Fucking boring. Oh. I could barely bring myself to play it in order to finish this review. No one on staff wants to play any more of this the video. The only thing I know about Fallout 76, to be honest, I didn't even know that it was super bugged out was that it has a million microtransactions. Because I've heard that before. But I didn't, I don't even know what microtransactions you could even have in the game. Do they give you special DLC guns? Like, that's all I know. Game. I'm not gonna 
subject myself to another 20, 30 hours of this fucking mess. In short, Damn, Fallout 76 <laughs> is morally, technically, and creatively bankrupt. The mods on Bethesda forums were working overtime. The mods on Reddit almost gave up. Look, Damn. I'm not saying that some people didn't enjoy and have fun with this game. But what I am saying is that the Metacritic was really funny to read. So what happened? Well, it came out that development was hugely rushed. The deadlines were tight. I fucking hate... Uh, booty cheeks. <laughs> Too tight, <laughs> Lenny face. But. Too tight. Okay. <laughs> there she says it's too small, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. Plus this. Okay, I need to. <laughs> I need to get the asses off the screen. I was so distracted. <laughs> I have simple brain. Ooga booga. <laughs> Me see bums. <laughs> Okay, but for real though, um, I was I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Oh my god, I literally got distracted by ass. No, Alicia, there's no way. There's no way. So what happened? Well, it came out that developed. Okay, I was gonna talk about crunch. Yeah, a lot of game devs these days experience crunch. And like, let's talk about this. This is 2018, and now we're at 2023, and these mo fuckers do us so dirty. Just look at Gollum. Golem is straight ass, dude. Redfall? Like, bro, like any Jedi, whatever that Jedi survivors, any game they're putting out right now is still Garbo. Like, it, that hasn't changed. And it's like, what? by what time and what God said company is going to finally take the time to realize, hey, if we just delay our game by a year, we have a good chance of making massive money, okay? If your game isn't glitched and isn't a piece of shit, you will have better sales. Just wait the year. Just do it. Most gamers, yeah, you'll be frustrated originally as a buyer or consumer, but no one's going to think of it that deep. We give you the year, you come back, you give us something goaded, no one's mad anymore. What's with these half-assed baked games than them releasing patch after patch months after it's released? If you know how games work, the moment you release the game, that's its shelf life. The moment it gets into your hands, it's already starting to die of, irrele of like irrelevancy. The only time it doesn't die of irrelevancy is if it has a competitive scene. For example, games like Valorant, which is free, I guess, but like, you know, like live service games that also are competitive and things like that. They have a fast refresh time so that you're playing constantly. That's why League of Legends is considered addictive. That's why you have other games in that category, right? Those are the ones that will always stay relevant, that has transactions within it, that makes sense. Even games like Apex that appeal to casual audiences, but also appeal to the, to the competitive audience, fast refresh time of, of playing games, things like that, that keep people engaged, whatever. If you have a single player game, that shelf life will die out. Diehard fans will keep playing it for years, but in general, once you beat the game once, people are done with it. They'll take about a week. In a week's time to two weeks time, Games die out. Even the new Outlast released, right? And mind you, a lot of people are still playing it. I'm not trying to say no one is, but you can tell by the viewership and by the number of players that it only takes a week for games to die out. So if you release something actually good, it has a longer chance of survivability. If you release it half-baked like this, you drop like 80, 50% in sales in only one week's time. So it's like they don't even want money. <laughs> like, and who doesn't want money? I want Usually money. Rushed. Feel free to donate. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm half kidding. <laughs> Plus, this wasn't Bethesda's A team. It's I'm actually dead. a relatively inexperienced division based in Austin, and the scope of the game kept getting bigger. <laughs> We're gonna need distant weather. I'm so sorry for that massive ass gamer rant. It was like building up inside of me. Thank you. <laughs> Systems. Hey Todd, I stayed up all night and I just We're finished. We're gonna the... need 16 times the detail. Please, Todd, no more. We're gonna need four times the size of Fallout 4. Ugh. That and they were trying to patchwork the old Bethesda creation engine into a multiplayer framework. What else? Oh, so this was the first time doing multiplayer That's for why it. I give my kids Fallout 76. Hey, this is this is <laughs> Oh, no, he just the to okay. The that is the bad not the same the way he did. No, in in, in, in uh, no man's sky. 
were the exploits. Um, exploits. Infinite inventory, infinite invisibility. The frame rate was tied to the game speed, so people were going a lot faster than they should. Server Please. hopping for more items, infinite cash, and infinite duplication. Unlimited XP, unlimited nuking. The nuclear codes were unencrypted, and you could wall clip into the quest room. And someone was given oh. the curse of infinite invincibility. Naturally, this can really mess with other players' online experience. So Bethesda was ready with the ban hammer this just works. and a blindfold to watch. Okay, that's 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 a like okay. I understand banning people who like abuse the system, but what if they accidentally glitch out into one of those things? Would you still ban them? Because at that point, it's your own system's fault anyways. ...wildly flail around and take down anyone who happened by. But Bethesda wasn't satisfied with just banning people. Ugh. Okay. No. They're a progressive company with big ideas. Oh, They wanted bet. to give a road to redemption. So support sent out this email to players caught cheating. We would be willing to accept an essay on why the use of third-party cheat software is detrimental to an online game community. That's right. 500 words on why you're a very naughty boy, and they may just give you your account back. Whoever decided that, they have a kink. That's all it has to be. They have a kink, and they know they're going to get fucked up emails, and they want them. They want, their <laughs> they want to be degraded. That's what it is. There's no way you chose to do something like that with toxic-ass gamers who are already cheating. They're going to degrade you, bro. They're going to go into those, those 500 words of calling you a bitch. There's no way. And a couple of days later, the mocking from news outlets caused them to reconsider this approach. <laughs> okay. One more exploit. <laughs> in all the Bethesda games, there's a dev room. Every item in the game is kept here. Security has to be top-notch because otherwise, someone could just waltz in and take all of the best items in the game and yeah. it would be an absolute disaster. Well, shit. Of course, Bethesda wasn't equipped to deal with the issue. People started flooding in, taking the best items in the game, then selling those items on a black market of You sorts. can- selling them? At first, they tried the usual approach. Banning people who had some of the best items in the game. But what if they just earned it? You spent 700 hours just to get the best gun. And Die, they get banned. Cheater. Next, they put in a system. Oh my god, they're so. <laughs> it's like, how can you say these things aloud? And like not think they're stupid. Like it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. I'm getting pissed. I'm getting pissed on the behalf of the people that experienced this. Get tagged if they ever entered the room, and they banned those players. That wasn't much better because people would just start using Smurf accounts. Oh. Get in quick with a level one account. Get all that good shit. Then get the fuck out. <laughs> I'll get all that good shit. Then use a duplication glitch to get a ton more of those items. Then transfer that stuff to your main account and you're good to go. Hell yeah. Bethesda then takes out this level one and calls it mission accomplished. <laughs> hey, what if instead of, I don't know, working on banning everybody, you worked on fixing your fucking game, making correct parameters and proper blocks so people can stop exploiting your game or maybe a proper anti-cheat that actually deals with that issue. Yeah? Yeah? Why are you putting the Otis on your like, I... Mm -hmm. I'm so grouchy. I'm so grouchy today. Maybe I need like a, a, a nap. <laughs> I and don't know if I'm just heated or grouchy. Game. So the problem continued. Bethesda is running out of ideas to solve it. There's a lot of speculation in the media and among players about how exactly people are getting in, but no one except for the exploiters knows for sure. That said, Bethesda needs to act fast before it ruins the economy of the game. Do you know what you could do though? This is something that actually a lot of like, corps do is that they hire the hacker, the person who like fucks up their shit and then pays them a massive amount of money to just teach them how they did it so that they can prevent it. If you just get one of those people and pay them off to teach you how they did that shit, we would save a lot of money in the long run because we'd still have people buying the game. So they wrote another email and sent it out to the Smurfs. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, hello, Cheetah. Do you want to tell us how you did it and we might unban you, please? Should we not hear back from you? The <sighs> not the... Give them an actual incentive. You can't simply remain suspended. It's not known whether this approach worked. XD, nice I've try, seen, Todd. It's still possible to get into the dev room. 
November 22nd, 2018, just a week after the release, the game goes on discount. From $60 to $40. Whoa. To $35. What? To $30. You can find it for $15 on eBay, and in Germany, they're straight up giving it for free when you buy a PlayStation controller. Also, some stores are just zip tying it to other products. But to Bethesda, it's worth selling the thing at a price close to zero, because it brings people into the atomic shop, which is where the real margins are. And it inflates. Oh, you a hoe ass bitch. They are gonna microtransaction the shit out of it. Oh, oh, they got my gamer blood boiling. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do from now on. Whenever I feel an emotion, I'm gonna just use the word gamer as a prefix. <laughs> My gamer rage is <laughs> consuming me. <laughs> next time next time I have sex with my fiance, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Those gamer cheeks are about to get clapped. <laughs> poor sales figures. Let's have a look at those. The latest figures show 76 sold less than a sixth of what Fallout 4 did. Not oh, good. Shit. There's also been a yeah. massive oversupply of hard copies. Although, what's the point of a hard copy when the thing is just a cardboard disc telling you to redeem an online code? What? And while sales are low, returns are high. Immediately upon release, people began asking Bethesda for a refund. Yeah. 76 is not on Steam. It's on Bethesda's own platform. So they have all the control. Oh, that's If players fucked. only played the game for a few that's fucked because at least if you went on for the first two hours on steam you could get your refund guaranteed because if you play under two hours you get your refund so you'd go in see there's a bunch of glitches and then you could get your refund but if it's on their own client two hours, so you can't do that get their money back that, yeah he just yeah internet historian just said that i was just losing <laughs> yeah he said the exact same thing i just said my bad <laughs> however it came out that people were sometimes getting refunds after a full 24 hours of play quite generous Wow. But then word about this spread to forums. Then to Reddit, and a post got 12,500 upvotes informing people that this made pretty much everyone eligible for a refund, and the comments told them exactly how to do it. Bethesda was flooded with requests for refunds. And their response? Decline Shut all. it down, lads. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No one gets a refund now. Everyone go home. Show's over. Robot customer service man, engage. Customers who have downloaded the game are not eligible for a refund. We apologize for the inconvenience. Die. I. <laughs> not to generalize because it's definitely the higher ups who make this decision. So I don't mean anyone who codes or anyone who works as a, like an underling. I mean, it's totally towards those who make these kinds of fucking decisions within the company. A general fuck you. Like, what are you doing? Like, how do you have such little care for your consumer? Like, I understand that it's a business at the end of the day. I'm all about game companies making their money, right? They deserve to. And I feel like a lot of the time people get upset over game prices these days compared to what game prices used to be when we were younger. One, there's inflation. But two, we're just in a time where games are super demanding to make and workers deserve to get paid properly and compensated properly. I have no issues paying top dollar for a game. But... Don't fuck over your consumer at the same time. Balance both. I'll pay top dollar, but don't fuck me over at the same time by me paying top dollar. It's a that's a lose lose for everybody in that scenario because you know you lose out on getting more sales and I lose out on an actual good experience. So man, I'm right up. Let me throw hands. A few things followed. First, people got mad. One hardcore gamer even trashed a GameStop for refusing his refund. I've seen that video before. Thank you for calling GameStop. This is Brian. How can I help you? <laughs> you go, Brian. Brian handled that like a champ. Brian goes, yo, what up? This is GameStop. <laughs> this is fucking chilling. Brian, you, Brian said, I don't get paid enough to just deal with that guy just did. I don't get paid enough to stop him from doing that. That's right, Brian. You mind your own fucking business. You keep doing your job. Ain't no reason to get into a fist fight with that guy over him hitting merchandise. You are more valuable than merchandise, Brian. Good shit. Good shit. I always feel bad for employees when it comes to people getting mad. Cause it's not the employee's fault, man. It's never the person who you're talking to's fault. It's the higher ups that's uh, that are at fault. 
It's shit out of their control. They're just doing the best that they can. That's why I never get mad at customer service. Because, like, what's a customer service person going to do? That's why I always tell them, like, here, escalate me as high as you can. I don't want to, like, deal with you because I feel bad. Like, I'm not trying to get mad at you. I'm trying to get mad at the person above you. The person who's above, 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 above you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm trying to deal with. A bit of an overreaction. But probably also fake. Second, oh, probably the also media. Fake. Okay. <laughs> They're still playing country third, roads. That's so a class funny. action lawsuit. Their inconsistent refund policy and terms of service. Oh may not shit! Be class legal. action. November twenty seventh, two thousand eighteen. Miglachio and Rathod LLP filed a class action suit on behalf of customers. Wow. Media quickly picked up on that. Their main They're argument is that it's a sometimes unplayable game owing to its technical problems. Then they're refusing refunds, and that Bethesda is engaged in a strategy to release it anyway, and then slowly patch their way into a more playable state. Which is Updates on this lawsuit stupid. is slow, so I'll keep you informed on the second channel. Wait, 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 what do you say about that? About the second channel? Updates on the lawsuit are slow, so I'll keep you informed on the second channel. Oh shit, so he actually did do updates about... Can you guys let me know, did he actually do an update about the lawsuit? Because it's been a while since this video's been out, right? This isn't new, right? Like, I'm sorry, I'm just super new to Internet Historian's content. Is it out? Does he have a video updating about it? Oh, so I'll keep you informed on this. Also, set. I love watching his ads. His ads, his ad plugs are so good. So let's do it. Channel. <laughs> ad time. What did you get this time? Look, there's a meteor headed straight to Earth. Oh, oh my no. God. We must do something. Was anyone curious enough to read about it online? Not me. Not me either. Nope. Oh no! Now people think I'm dumb and I have died a virgin. Jay, guys, it's you! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm feeling a little spicy today. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I promise to only virgin shame you once a week, okay? <laughs> Only once. I'll limit it to once, okay? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll buy you the purity rings. I will provide. <laughs> Don't let this happen to you. Get Curiosity Street. It's a streaming platform with some of the this? best documentaries and non-fiction from around the world. Oh. Partial nudity. Maybe if you look hard enough. But more importantly, the most arousing thing of all. Knowledge? Knowledge. <laughs> Works for you. W, W, <laughs> crying. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's Android, great. Et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> it works on everything, okay? Science, nature, history, tech, society. Society. CuriosityStream.com slash internet historian for unlimited <laughs> access to the world's free top documentaries and nonfiction series. Use the promo code internet historian during that's the sign up process to get the it's first 30 great. days free, then cancel any time. Wink, Pl please. Look, I need, I need sponsors. I, I bought a lifetime supply of toilet paper, thinking I was saving money, but then I left it out in the rain, and the crows got it, and now I'm back to square one. Please. You've made a grievous error. Did he make this during COVID or before COVID? That's the real question. That's the real question. Because <laughs> this is very topical. If this is during COVID. Curiositystream.com/slash/internetstory. <laughs> Ads over. Let's rewind a little bit. Mm -hmm. Four the fans made their pre-orders, and the most dedicated pre-ordered the Power Armor Edition. Oh, what's wow. that? What's that? It came with a helmet, box, Whoa. map, army toys, and a genuine West... Army toys. And a box. <laughs> Tech canvas bag. Fast forward to the release. And customers noticed that their precious bags which is supposed to be made of the finest canvas in the land. Ooh, oh, look what are they made of? Different. Bruh. In fact, oh. it looks like a carry bag the real bag should come in. Bruh. Do they really just advertise one thing and deliver another? That's Can't false that. advertising? So there was a surge of backlash, and people began emailing Bethesda, asking Bruh. for refunds, Bruh. asking Bruh. for answers. <laughs> By this point... <laughs> Goofy ass motherfucker type Point. W. <laughs> Customer service is absolutely over it. They are done with the facade and they send this email in response. 
All right, be honest. Whose room looks like, like that right now? Whose room? All right. Let me just say this really quick to whoever's room looks kind of like this right now. I'm not here to judge you. I'm not going to be actually mean during this part. I'm actually just going to be really honest. It's okay. I accept you. Take a little bit each day, right? Grab a bag. Get started, right? Even if it's just one bag of garbage you're throwing out, at least you're getting started. And that's probably the biggest thing that you can do. It's going to feel really overwhelming, but I know there's a lot of people out there who got really depressed over the course of like COVID and being shut inside. And it's just kind of carried over your depression and you're stuck inside a lot. Don't worry. I'm not here to judge you about it. I know I joke a lot about other shit and I just joke a lot in general. Uh, I feel like I've seen a lot of people in the past few years who kind of go through this. And I just want to say it's okay. And I'm not here to ever make you feel like super shitty about that kind of stuff. So just do your best. Try to take one bag of garbage out a day if you can and do what you can, you know? And if you ever need someone who needs to give you a reassuring motivational talk, hopefully can come back to this part of the video and listen to this because... You know, even if you judge yourself and feel upset about it or feel like you can't go out because you're so ashamed of throwing out the garbage or you feel embarrassed, don't be. Like, I'm just proud of you for trying to get it done. All right. For it. They are done with the facade and they send this email in response. Hello. We are sorry that you aren't happy with the bag. The bag shown in the media was a prototype and was too expensive to make. We aren't planning on doing anything about what? it. These whack ass hoes. That's the whole email. Staff at Bethesda aren't even hiding their contempt anymore. Naturally, the internet goes wild. Oh my Are you god. Kidding me? Wow. Wow. Well, I got so mad, I shaved everything off my face. I'm gonna be so honest with you, honey buns. You have beautiful eyes, but your hairline was already way back there. The fuck you mean you shaved? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> okay, guys, this is a bit of a PR nightmare. We have to quell the outrage. I think he was just making a joke. What do we do? Balls, but yeah. well, we've got this in-game character. He did have really pretty eyes, though, huh? Let's just give them the minimum amount of that. Fantastic idea. Oh, my God. Hear ye, hear ye. Anyone who paid two to three hundred dollars for the Power Armor Edition is hereby entitled to five dollars worth of in-game currency that you'll be able to spend with us. Five hundred atoms? Fuck Yeah. What are you going to do with your Adams? I'm going to buy five eighteenths of the white paint version of the power armor. You Whoa. can't even buy a skin. What about skin? you? Light wood laminate. Light wood laminate. Light wood laminate. <gasps> Fuck the bag. He's right. Fuck the bag. Light wood it doesn't even cost. I... How can this company fuck up so many times? <laughs> How? How? Of course. This was Bethesda's fantasy. I'm gamer what cussing. Happened. What really happened is further <laughs> Sorry, outrage. gamer cussing just sounds like I'm going to say slurs. <laughs> I'll just say the word slurs menacingly. Slurs. Okay. And even the media started piling on. Almost heaven. Where's Virginia? It even Where's became Virginia? part of that class action lawsuit from earlier. Bethesda put out a tweet apologizing for their curt customer service and gave a different excuse for why they didn't make the bags. A shortage of material, apparently. That yeah, yeah, debunked. bullshit. Because it turns out they did make the canvas bag, <gasps> except they gave them all out to influencers. Oh, oh shit. It's not the same one, of course, but it's sourced from that Ooh. ever scarce material, canvas. But what's more amusing is that it turns out there is a canvas bag in the game, if you don the postman's outfit, which of course can be found at the atom shop. Okay, can you at least get that? For 700 You don't, atom. fuck them, fuck them. Oh my God, that's my breaking point. That's my breaking point. You gave them 500 so they can't even buy that in game. They can't even buy that in game, it's so stupid. Ooh, just short. That's so stupid, that's so well, stupid. Well, the bleating from the online community continued and Bethesda's lawyers realized there would be trouble. So they decided to capitulate. All right, fine. We'll make your precious fucking bag. If you want to claim it, you'll have to fill out this form with your name, personal details, address, etc., etc., and we'll ship out the bag to you in four to six months. But it doesn't quite end there, because Bethesda is known for bugs, and of course their website is a buggy mess too. Mm -hmm. Turns out all of the customer support inquiries are unsecure and open to the public. <gasps> in fact, people can open. 
let me be able to get their info? Open and close and change them at will. Listed are details of full legal names, phone numbers, home addresses, and more. Oh my god! If you've requested your canvas bag, you've just been doxxed. Not knowing how to immediately fix the problem, Bethesda panics and temporarily shuts down the whole website. As they and should! That is the tale of the duffel kerfuffle. How could this have been so difficult? I'm so like, <laughs> that's, that's a fucked up bag, I'm sorry. <laughs> but also, I can't imagine going through all that bullshit, being like, okay, finally, I can get my damn bag. I'm just gonna go fill out this damn form online. It's tedious, it'll take four to six months to get to me, whatever, I'm just gonna get it done and hopefully I get that bag because that's what I paid for anyways. Filling it out just to get fucking doxxed. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, the level of incompetency. I can't, dude. Can you guys, like, give a single shit about your consumer? Like, it's, I, ah! They made one. Dude, we're over the halfway point. Is there no happy ending here? Are they just a dog shit company? One for New Vegas. <laughs> what is one this? One last piece of merch. A rum drink. Oh, that's Nuka actually Cola sick. Dark. Pre-orders available in September. Shipped out on November 14th. I would actually buy that. That's plus sick. And handling. Not cheap. But in return, you got a very cool bootle. A bootle? stood on the shelf. Mm. A great conversation piece with the family over Thanksgiving. Or at least it would have been. I mean, what November 14th came and went, and there was no rum. Uh, Why is all the rum gone? All right. Why is the rum always gone? Anyone know the quote? What's it, what's it from? What's it from? Huh? 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 Hi. Okay. <laughs> a week later on November 21st, an email comes through. Mail. There's a delay. Things aren't up to the usual fallout standard, they say. The usual fallout standard. Yeah, I was going to say, what's your usual fallout standard? Because I'm pretty sure it's dog shit. Standard. Things aren't up to the usual fallout stand. So we'll have it for you soon. No specific date given. <laughs> okay. One week later. Nothing. <sighs> then on December 5th, another email. Good news. We start shipping on December 12th. It's been nearly three months since you pre-ordered. But as a show of good faith, we made this promotional video for you. And this is where things went from tardy to retardy. Right there. Oh. Did you catch that? That's just a regular industry bottle and a plastic shell. We paid $80 and waited a quarter of a year for a plastic shell? People were not happy. Look at that ratio. No it's like they're doing a series of scams. I really thought this video would be about the microtransactions because that's all I ever knew about Fallout 76 is that they have a fuck ton of microtransactions and it's really like brain rotty how much money they want you to spend and I knew there was a lack of care. That's a few things I knew about Fallout 76 from just word of mouth, from just people existing and being a gamer online. I never knew this shit was going on. Nothing in the marketing said that it was a plastic shell. Super premium, we were promised. And the media agreed. <laughs> I just like that he keeps playing country roads. <laughs> people began cancelling their orders. Silver Screen tries cheap. to convince people that it's not cheap and shitty. It actually costs us twice as much to make the plastic one than the glass one. Then what the- Then go make the glass one, you fucks! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just, I hate that excuse. What is that excuse? I'm so dumb. They're so dumb. Oh, you're so stupid. Oh my god. We, we spent a hundred hours coding the design. Convincing stuff. So it arrives just a few days before uh, Christmas. Oh, that's nice the at least. is about the quality you'd expect. Well, look at that ball. Okay, hold on. Is just a few days before uh, Christmas. The rum is about... The quality oh my you'd god! Expect. Man, fuck the like. Ugh. That's not fair. It's not fair. God, can I swear on this? It's my own show. Ah. Worse is the design. The oversized lip means liquid can pour inside the shell. Hard to pour because 
how they made this damn thing. Oh my god! Spent like half the shot. That's Very so dripping. sad. So you're best off opening the whole thing up to prevent spilling. If you do that, there's a good chance that you'll snap the flimsy plastic. Any liquid will immediately ruin this cheap paper sticker. Oh my god. So made their own at home and the quality was about on par. But look, if you do want a decent version of this product, there are reputable sellers of them. They're on Etsy. They're far cheaper, and they actually give a shit. Oh. Not gonna lie, though, some of the memes that came out of this were pretty good. <laughs> now, many claim that this was an honest mistake. Sorry. Or that customers were at fault for misinterpreting ambiguous marketing. I disagree. All of the marketing shows other glass items. All of the mock-ups show something more akin to frosted glass than plastic. Exactly! It's the sheen of it! The sheen of it looks like frosted glass. The that is a good point! And not once do it they looks mention textured. plastic. And they were engaged in a bunch of other tomfuckery as well. Before the product fucking. was even available, they flooded their own product reviews with a bunch of five stars. This raised some eyebrows, and people on Reddit even called them out for it. So they deleted them. You can see all this activity on the Wayback Machine. That's actually funny as fuck. <laughs> Dude, I love Reddit. I just started using it more recently because we made like the r slash like Alicia X Life subreddit. Always be plug in, check out the subreddit. But like, Dude, <laughs> dude, like it's just ugh, the memes and the bullshit. My brain is happy. Also, I used Reddit previously just when I'm like Googling technical like technical issues with my like computer and stuff. Usually, like there's always some sort of Reddit post that figures out my problem for me. So like W's for them always. Now, if they're happy to deceive people in this way, it seems silly to give them the benefit of the doubt about the glass. It's also worth quickly talking about the Bethesda merch store. Some of these items are pretty neat. That's cool. Good idea. Oh, you puppy! Fallout 76 pant. Singular. But why is he so mad? <laughs> you get to the one leg. The photography is all just slightly... off. This gaudy jacket was mocked relentlessly on social media. But does the 76... <laughs> <Ikea and bag. laughs> $276 really make it more immersive? And why did they just toss it on the ground? And it comes in this crumpled up toddler body bag. You're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars in merch. I'm sorry, did this man just say toddler body bag? <laughs> Are we just gonna brush past that? <laughs> that's... That's dark. <laughs> you don't have an iron? Why is she wearing the size XXL? She's clearly not happy about it. But who looked at this and said, Good job. Print. Now that's surprising. And what the fuck? They made the bottle properly. Yeah. One of those, please, but bigger and brown. Is that so hard? Let's get. I can't. I'm gonna have a stroke. <laughs> I'm gonna have a. I'm in like disbelief. I really thought that there would be a turning point. I really thought that maybe we'd be talking about like the microtransaction. This has all been other shit. They're just shitty. What is this? Get back to the game. December 2018. <laughs> there are two it's almost the end of the video. First, the good. For PC, they included a number of quality of life improvements. Well, including that's good. Push to talk. Future. Future. But it also brought in field of view sliders. Hooray! <laughs> Increased stash capacity from 400 pounds to 600 pounds, and a small <laughs> buff to automatic weapons. Hooray! They decreased the carry weight of bobby pins so it no longer took up 10 to 20% of people's inventory. I got a box of bobby pins the other week that said, that said, weigh these. <laughs> <laughs> there were also upgrades to the That's camp cute. that allowed for easier construction and a bunch of bug fixes. Hooray. <laughs> the bad. Oh. Hold on. Oh shit, shake that ass, now move it like a gypsy, stop, whoa, back it up, now let me see your hips swing, now drop it down and let me see your hips swing, you know, is that not the energy you get, is that the energy you get right, eh, get it bitch, I'm sorry, that shit crazy, that shit crazy. <laughs> a whole bunch of unannounced stealth nerfs, stealth they generally made the game grinding, that nerf, Emo like, production was big decreased. ass thing was kind of cool though, fusion cores burnt out faster, legendary enemies, okay, this is a super for... side note, sorry for pausing again, have, do any of you, any of you guys into Nerf? 
I know that I have friends who are grown ass, like grown ass men who are into Nerf. And I actually think it's kind of fucking cool. <laughs> like, there's a lot of Nerf gear that I just think is like, it just looks dope. Right? I'm kind of anti-gun, to be honest with you. I get very nervy word. I'm a very anxious person. But, like, I'm cool if people want to have their shit, whatever. I'm not here to judge you. But the nerf stuff, I fuck with. Anyways. On less frequently. On guard. I'll fuck you up. Yes. And the backlash was significant because everybody knew why Bethesda was doing it. To encourage people to use the atomic shop. Ah, the microtransaction time. Yes. Now let's talk briefly about that store. Some of the prices are outrageous. A Christmas tree for $12, a Santa outfit for $20, blue and yellow paint for $18. Oh, look. Okay, so the thing about that, though, is if this was like a popular game and this game was like a bump in and it wasn't like falling off because of how many glitches it had. I think some of those prices could have actually been reasonable. The only reason I'm saying that is, do you know how many times people pay 20 bucks for like a Valorant skin? You know what I'm saying? But it just depends on how much playtime you have to justify the purchase. That's how I see it. It's like if I'm going to buy a skin in a game, then I better have a, like, a, a legitimate like reason to buy it i don't expect it to be like lollipop chainsaw where you can like earn outfits with in-game currency because in you know today's era motherfuckers be making uh, just draining our wallets so I, it's, it's whatever like I can, I can understand that to an extent but if you're gonna drain my wallet you gotta make it so the game has enough value for me to feel like if i purchase this it's worth it because i spend enough time in game right I spend too many hours playing Valorant with my friends. Not so much right now because I keep focusing on making content, but that's besides the point. So if I see a new Valorant skin come out, I hit that purchase button sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to play enough hours to justify the purchase. But this? This dog shit? $3 for the same sweater vest and slacks item imported from Fallout 4. But the biggest offense of all was the holiday emote bundle. $24 for some Christmas themed emotes. Twice the price of these games. The media agreed that these were egregious prices. That's too but much. But they're engaged in some deceiving marketing practices too. Oh look, it's marked down half price. But it's not. It was released half Oh my god. Oh my god. These fuckers, they're doing what like a lot of different places do too. It's like they they like pretend that it's on a certain sale. They do that like all on, on, online online shopping. They're jacking up the price only to then give it a fake limited time yeah, discount exactly. in order to create a sense of urgency. Yep. That's illegal here in Australia at least in Canada and in the EU. Yep. Reddit quickly picked up on this and pointed it out. Bethesda reacted by scrapping the discount and just setting it as the always intended price yep okay it's been about 25 minutes of whining now excellence so i'm just gonna leave it here. that's why i still run into it a lot when i'm online shopping is that it's like a thing but like in canada yeah you can't do that it's super fucking illegal i didn't even get a chance to touch on the new pay to win fiasco the new camera item that lets you teleport dwindling player numbers but on the flip side, they're also adding new content and improving the game over time. Heck, No Man's Sky was a surprising comeback. So, maybe Bethesda can do it too. Oh, we're cool. We're, we're huffing copious amounts of copium. Ain't no fucking way, dog. These people are just trying to milk us for the money. I'm saying us like I'm a part of this. I'm not playing Fallout. But <laughs> they're clearly milking the community for the money. The difference between No Man's Sky... And the, and the care that that studio had towards their game after the fact and after the flop is complete. They did free updates. They did free updates. They did free full patches. They gave a shit about their community. Every single corner you tried to cut is egregious for this. There's no faith for you to be good if you're going to do shit like this. It's disgusting to treat your audience and to treat your consumers this way. That's the reason No Man's Sky got its redemption arc is because they gave a shit about the consumer. They made virtual reality support for free, not even as an independent game. Who does that? 
a company that cares, a company that flopped their game and was able to resurrect it. You can't resurrect something like this unless you give a shit and they don't give a shit. And that's the difference. Oh my God, what a train wreck. But for now, Todd returns to cryostasis. Hiding in his bunker until the bombs of outrage stop falling. I'm still outraged, bitch. Keep hiding, Tom. And returning only when it's time to get our hopes up once again. And then, and then lead to failure again. Thanks. Yeah, love that. God damn it. This was literally the exact opposite of watching the No Man's Sky video. This is the exact opposite. Oh my god. Curiositystream.com slash internet. The thing was is that I had so much I had so much empathy and understanding through the No Man's Sky video. And like there's certain parts where I was like, oh, that's really messed up. I can kind of understand it. I can kind of like see where they're coming from. These parts are kind of arrogant. I had a lot of questions. This just seems fucked. And I feel really bad for like the people who worked under Bethesda who even were like frustrated themselves. Who were like, what the hell are we doing as a company? But they're still working there, right? And I'm not saying, oh, you should quit and walk out because the job economy is hard. It's up to those higher ups to get their shit together. And that's the reality, right? It has nothing to do with the people who are coding, the people who are trying their absolute best. It's about the people who are making those executive decisions in order to fuck over everyone else. And it's disgusting. It's, oh, I'm going to go fight people. I'm going to fight <laughs> Not many people know this, but I'm actually quite a good rap artist. Rap artist? Rappist, oh. if you will. Oh, Jesus, so don't say I'm that. I'm <laughs> going to say all these names for you from the credits as fast as I possibly can in time with the scrolling. Here we go, one take. Just deal, Miles Millican, Justin Rowling, uh, 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 Steve Rizzo, oh Brothers, my God. Indigo Zero, <laughs> Luke Cattle, Astatine 210, I appreciate he's Jordan trying to Pence, say his uh, Patreon <laughs> members' Spicy names. Peter, That's actually Kip, so sweet. Edgy Kid X, Bryce Toiler Ham, no, Nate Odenkirk, but Sonia Waffles, uh, Krabby, Krabby Patty. <laughs> get read by the rapist. Then why don't you head over to? Uh... I love him. He's great. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and thanks again for your love and support here on the channel. Uh, linked in the description below is the original video. Go support his channel, please. He is way larger than my channel, and he's super talented and has incredible videos. But I think it's important to also acknowledge, as a reactor, though I love doing these videos, and though it's amazing, I wouldn't be able to do them without channels like his. That's okay with people like me reacting. That's okay with me doing stuff like this, because then we wouldn't be able to do it. And I wouldn't be able to experience this with you guys. So I'm just super thankful to channels like that who are okay with people like me reacting and that show a lot of support towards the community in general. And I think it's just super informative and super fun. So thank you so much. Hope you hit the like button on this video. Hope you check out uh, the original video and social support to that. I'll catch you guys later. Bye, everybody. Bye. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, also, if you want to check out anime reactions, I have them over on my other channel, Alicia X Life. And I binge anime and, like every single day over there. So if you want to watch more bullshit with me, that's the place to do it. We just started One Piece from the very beginning. All right. Bye.